So give me Matthew 19 and uh, 27 and read all the way down. Not Matthew 19 and 27. And we're going to read all the way down to 30. Now, let's see if who the world in the recall Jesus, which his name is Yahweh Shah in the Hebrew. Let's see if he was in agreement with a man having more than one woman. Let's find out. All right, let's find out what who the world in the called Jesus said. And this is the New Testament. You know, people always say, well, but Jesus, he wouldn't agree with that. But let's find out. Let's see if he agreed with a man having more than one woman. Go ahead, bro. This is Matthew chapter 19, verse 27. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and follow thee. What shall we have therefore? Yeah, he, Peter asked him. He said, look, how was shy. We didn't left everything to follow you. What are we going to get? And let's see the response of Yahweh Shai. This is uh, verse 28. And Yahweh Shai said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the generation. Regeneration. Salaki. This is uh, Matthew chapter 19, verse 28. And Yahweh Shai said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit on the throne of his glory, he also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Go ahead. Verse 29, and every one that has forsaken houses, or brethren, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, oh. or wife, did he say wife there? Read it again. Come. So Jake can hear it, because you know Jake, they got selective hearing. <laughs> See? This is Matthew chapter 19, verse 29. And every one that had forsaken houses. Meaning, meaning, you just don't let your house fall apart. Come. You know, you got a house, you don't let it fall apart. You don't move Come. out of it, you know, and be homeless. Come. No, you take care of it. What it's saying, just do the will of your house by your shot. Okay? You don't forsake your mother. What if your mother gets sick? You don't leave her there. Right, right. Okay? He said, well, look, I'm not dealing with you because I'm following your hour shot. No, that's not what he's saying. Okay? You still take care of your mother. You still take care of your wife. Okay? What it is is your life now is uh, turned over to your hour shot, so you're doing his will. But you still take care of your family. Okay? Go ahead. Or brethren, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my name's sake, shall receive an hundredfold. Oh, he said shall receive a hundredfold. So when you deal with that word hundredfold, that's a hundred. So if you apply these scriptures and follow Yahweh Bashim Shai, okay, in the kingdom of heaven, what you're going to get is a hundredfold. He said, why? So you're going to get a hundred women. So is Yahweh Shai in agreement with a man having more than one woman? He said it right there. It's in the red. It's in the red. So I guess he's going off. I guess he's bipolar. I guess he don't know what's going on. <laughs> I guess he didn't consider the feelings of the Negro Latino Native American woman that's in America. I guess he didn't sit consider they feeling. <laughs> well, what about us? You know, you know how they. Come, come, what about come, us? Come, come. What about us? You know. Come, come. Or in Spanish, you know, like the Latin tribe say, you know, so called. Are you okay? <laughs> you know. Yeah. yeah. What about us? <laughs> nah, y'all was shot talking to the men right there. You know, he talking to Peter. He say, look. Peter and the apostles, man, he said, look, y'all, y'all gonna get a hundredfold. Peter asked him, look, we following you, what we gonna get? Yahweh Shah said a hundredfold. That's what you gonna get. So you calling Yahweh Shah a liar? That a man can't have more than one woman? 
That's why we read what we read in Isaiah the fourth chapter and Ezekiel the thirty-sixth chapter. Uh, Ezekiel sixteen, Ezekiel sixteen and sixty on down. That's why we read that, man, to show you. Hey, these scriptures don't lie, man. But like, I gotta say this again. The women to say, well, what about us? You know, what about us? Can we have more than one man? No. Just to translate what I said earlier, you know, your good just means, and be what? <laughs> you know? Yeah. It's the Latin, Latin tribe, man. Yeah. What I'm gonna get? Right. You're gonna get an Israelite man that got full power, and that's a, and that's a ruler. That's what you're gonna get. Okay, and you're going to love it. You're going to be in agreement with it. But America will be done away with. You can, I, okay, you love America. You, you love America so much. i tell you what. Go check out Lot White and see what happened to her. You want to stay in America? Go check out Lot White. Read up on, read up on Lot White and see what happened. See what she's up to. See what she's up to. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> in the meantime, the women who the most high are doing, going back to uh, pacify, going back to uh, 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 Ezekiel 16 and uh, 63, they going to be in agreement with it because the most high is going to pacify, meaning an anoint. So they going to be in agreement with it because the rest of you going to die out. That well, ain't no woman gonna ain't no woman gonna agree with that. The most I gonna put the spirit in them for what they are gonna agree with it. What's gonna be your what's gonna be your uh, uh, situation is you gonna eat a missile. Come. Come. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna eat a missile and die out. Go ahead. That big mouth. With that big mouth. Swallow, swallow yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is uh back in uh, Matthew chapter 19, verse 29. I'll, I'll read up again. And every one that hath forsaken houses, or brethren, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my name's sake, shall receive an hundredfold, and shall inherit everlasting life. Yeah. So believing in Yahweh Shema was shy, being that quick in his spirit, through faith, you're going to inherit everlasting life, man. And rule. See? So, hey, man, you brothers out there uh, that's doing this work and welcome to the truth, stick with it, man. The reward is coming. The reward is coming, man. You know? Even though you catch hell, the reward is coming, man. Okay? So, finish that off. All right, verse 30. But many that are first shall be last, and the last shall be first. There you go. So we're going to jump to Genesis 2 and 18. Now the situation with Will and, uh, situation with Will and uh, Jada. I seen that, man. I just shook my head, man. I just shook my head. Go ahead, bro. All right, this, is, uh, this is the book of Genesis chapter 2. Verse 18, and Yahweh by some Yahweh's power said, It is not good that the man should be alone. It is not good that a man should be alone. So that's the order, man. Okay? That's the order. The Most High didn't set it up to where a man should be alone. He should have a woman, right. or more than one woman. Right. Go ahead. I will make him and help me for him. Yeah, so he said, I will make him a help me for him. So that's, we're going back to that. A woman is going to be a help me towards her husband, man. Okay? That's what it's going to be. Now give me Sirach in the Apocrypha. Give me Sirach uh, 36 and 24. Sirach 36 and 24. By her, by Jada uh, committing that adulterous act, her focus should have been on will, not trying to uh, feel good and find herself. She should have been focused on will, God, serving God. him. God. God. Her desire is supposed to be towards him, man. Really? 
you know? That's the way it's supposed to be. When you go back to Genesis 3 and 16 on down, when you read that, the woman desire is supposed to be towards her husband, man. Okay? Not towards some other, helping some other guy get over his situation. Get over his uh, abuse or his uh, drug uh, uh, addictions or whatever he's going through. Okay? She had no business doing that. She's in error. And by her doing that, what did she get involved in? Committing adultery, man. Wow. See that? Go ahead. All right, this is uh, Ecclesiasticus chapter 36, verse 24. He that getteth a wife. Be, begetteth? Begetteth. Begetteth a possession, a help like unto himself, and a peril of rest. Yep, a pillar of rest. Read it again. This is uh, Ecclesiasticus chapter 36, verse 24. He that getteth a wife. He get us a possession. This is uh, Ecclesiasticus chapter 36, verse 24. He that get it a wife, he get it a possession, yeah. a help like unto himself, and a, a pillar of rest. Yeah, so the Mofi created it to where that woman belonged to that man, okay? When you get a wife, she belongs to you. No other man, man. And she's supposed to be there to where if you're going through a certain thing, she's supposed to be there for your support, okay? She ain't supposed to be supporting some other man, okay? To lift some other man up. She's supposed to be there to lift you up. That's what it is. She's a helpmate, okay? And your desire is supposed to be towards your husband. These, these, uh, scriptures are for us to guide ourselves in this wicked world and understand these scriptures will get you closer get you closer to Yahweh and understanding what they like and what they don't like okay okay so a woman is supposed to be with that man to help him not do her own thing okay contrary to America, okay? Get you a career, find yourself. Nah, she's supposed to be serving that man, okay? And what the women are doing in this society, in America, which Esau controls, the so-called white man, the devil that the Bible speaks of, is all illegal. They doing everything illegal, man, in the eyes of Yahweh Bashan Shah. Everything illegal, man. And they wrong, and they're going to be judged for it, okay? Even though Will and Jada split up, that man uh, who she dealt with is not supposed to come in between that, okay? And it tells you in the scripture. And I'm reading the scripture to show you the order of what is going to be in the kingdom and right from wrong in the eyes of Yahweh Bashem Shai. If you want to understand how the Heavenly Father and His Son thinks, you get in these scriptures. If you want to know how to please the Heavenly Father and His Son, you get in these scriptures and search them. Okay? You don't go off on how you feel. Because that's what Jada did. She went off how she felt. Talking about she needed to feel good. And by her needing to feel good and find herself, she committed adultery, man. Okay? And that's illegal in the eyes of the Heavenly Father and His Son. Okay? Hold what you got, bro. Read that one more time, and we're going to jump. It's Ecclesiasticus, chapter 36, verse 24. He that get, get it, a wife, that's right, yeah. get him, get it, yeah. a possession, a help like unto himself and a pillar of rest. Yep, a pillar of rest. So that's what it was set up to do. And that's the way, that's what she was set up, that's what she was set up to do, okay? And that's why I read Genesis, I had the brother read Genesis uh, 2 and 18, because that's what they go back to, okay? Now we're going to get a, uh, we're going to get 1 Corinthians chapter 7, Verse, uh, 
We're going to start at 10. This is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 10. And unto the married I command, yet not I, but Yahweh by some Yahushai, let not the wife depart from her husband. Go ahead. Verse 11. But and, but and if she depart, let her remain unmarried. Let her remain unmarried. Because, in other words, when you deal with marriage according to the scriptures, it's dealing with sex. So, it's for her to remain unmarried, which would mean not have sex. Okay? Now let's find out why. Paul is saying this and breaking it down to the Corinthians that's in Greece because the Corinthians was asking the question on how to worship Yahweh by Shemel Shai, and Paul is giving them the answer. Okay? Go ahead. It says, or be yep. reconciled mm -hmm. to her husband and let not the husband put away his wife. So see, the reason why she's not supposed to mess with no other man because the most high saying, look, he can put the spirit on them to allow them, even though they're going through difficulties and having trouble in the flesh, he can put the spirit on them to where they'll be rekindled. So it's best for that woman not to deal with another man. Okay? Because I'm going to show you something. We're going to look up the word rekindle right there. And then we're going to jump down. woman is not supposed to mess with no other man if they depart from each other because Yahweh Shai, like I was saying, can put the spirit on them both and rekindle that relationship. You got it? I mean, yeah, reconcile. I said rekindle, Salaki. I don't know what my mind would be. That was safe messing with me. Because topics like this, man, topics like this are real controversial. Right, right. Okay? And when you talk about things like this, people get real emotional in America, man. You know? But it has to come out, man. According to the scripture, this is order, man. And to know right from wrong in the eyes of Yahweh and Yahweh was shot, you got to go into these things. You got to get into these scriptures and break it down to Jake so he would know or she would know. So that was Satan trying to throw me off to go into something else, man. Okay. You know? Okay. All right. This is, uh, this is Strong's H, 2644. Uh, repeat this again. This is Strong's G, 2644. G stands for Greek. Strong's G, 2644. Katalazo. Katalazo. And it's, uh, it says, return to favor with. See? Reconciliation. To return to favor with. And if you watch that interview with, uh, at the red table with Will and Jada, okay, Will and Jada, they're talking about returning the favor, getting back together. So while she was being emotional, okay, and the situation was in turmoil, you know, the relationship was in turmoil and they departed, she still was supposed to stay, uh, uh, Unmarried, meaning not have sex. Okay? Because the most high can put the spirit on them to find favor with each other okay. again. Okay. See that? But what does she do? 
and them not understanding the scriptures and Israel not being taught, you know, about their heritage, they go off their own counsel and end up destroying themselves, man. And Esau ain't no Esau ain't no help because he put all that lust and stuff on television and, and in the movies and these people uh, uh, so emotional and they uh, do everything based off the flesh, not looking at stuff in the spirit. Go ahead. Alright, it says be reconciled reconciled to one. So that was it. Yeah. Okay. So to find favor, so read that again. Alright. This is uh 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 11. It says, but and but and if she depart, let her remain unmarried or be recon reconciled to her husband, and let no and let not the husband put away his wife. Yeah. Okay. So there you go, man. Even though they separated, he don't put her away to where he just done with her, okay? Because the Most High didn't set it up like that. And Paul telling you down in the 28th verse. So let's find out what the 28th verse say on down. And we're going to look up a word there. Okay, this is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 28. But and if thou marry, thou hast not sinned. Yep, you ain't transgressed the law. Go ahead. And if a virgin marry, she has not sinned. Go ahead. Nevertheless, such shall have trouble in the flesh, but I spare you. So, so you had to stop like that because you got slave patrol right there. You didn't want to run that light. Slave patrol right there waiting on you. So we're going to look up that word trouble. Okay? Shit. Slave patrol was right there waiting on you to red that light. Come on. I thought the tires was gonna come off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Jake. Jack didn't want to get pulled over. Everything was written was written for our learning, man. So you got to keep these things in mind, man. Okay? When you're dealing with these women out here, you brothers, man. And also you women that's listening. You know? You got to keep these things in mind. Right? All right. This is the word trouble in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 28. Strong to G, 2347. Oppression, affliction, tribulation, distress, straits. All right. So even though Will and Jacob got money, they Israelites, but them curses on them. Okay? So that's how they going to feel in the spirit. Okay? They going to be in straits. It's going to be hard in this society, man. When you're in a relationship, it's hard in this society to, uh, to uh, uh, stay together because Satan is always on the, on the prowl and the attack, you know? Them, them, this lustful flesh is running rapid, man. And, the, and it's adultery, it's adultery, adulterers and adultery. Men and women all over the place, man. Yeah. Okay? And there's no, and there's no, uh, law 
behind it to stop it. It's unregulated. So people are just out here doing whatever. And they end up catching diseases, being an adult. Okay? They end up catching them diseases, man.